Hello everybody and welcome to our daily check-in video. Uh, the weather outside is pretty crummy. It's cold too. Um, and it's starting to rain, which is kind of a stinker. However, since it is the week of appreciation, uh, I am appreciative for the rain because it helps my grass grow and it helps plants grow and it helps provide water for everybody. So I am grateful for that. Uh, yes, this is Teacher Appreciation Week, but I wanted to take some time today to show my appreciation to various groups of people. And the reason why I'm saying this is, you know, because you, the students, you know, my students, um, or if you just happen to be watching, I just want you to know that it is okay to let people know that you are appreciative of what they do. So I'm very appreciative of all the custodians in our building. Uh, they've been working really hard, as they always do. Now, normally this time of year, they're already thinking about, you know, what's going to happen over the summer, what kind of work's going to be done, uh, how are they going to make the school even more amazing than it already is, and now I feel like there's like a whole new reality and they have more responsibility and I'm sure the custodians are up to the challenge because they're fantastic. You know, whatever school you are in, you know, I think it's always important to appreciate the custodians because they're the ones that make the school look so good. Um, and I'm, I've had some amazing custodians work on the floor that I teach on, uh, super friendly people, hardworking. Uh, my room always looks great in the morning. And in fact, when I come in, I just love that feeling. I mean, I do miss that feeling. You walk in and everything is just perfect. You're like, <sighs> I mean, by the end of the day, it looks like a train wreck, but in the morning it looks fantastic because of them. So thank you. Another group of people that I would like to give a shout out to are all the paraprofessionals in our building. Uh, they work so hard, they help kids, they work with them, and I know some of the paraprofessionals now have been working you know, with kids even at nighttime because they need help. Uh, I know on our team, you know, Mrs. E, uh, Mr. Kazaba, and Ms. D, you guys are fantastic. Um, I was very grateful to have you in my classroom. I mean, I miss all of you guys to be able to see you guys in person, but um, I just want to give a shout out to you and every other paraprofessional that uh, works super hard. And sometimes paraprofessionals, they get ignored or, um, you know, and I'm not saying our school, I'm just saying in general, sometimes paraprofessionals get overlooked. And I just want everyone to know that they work really hard uh, and, you know, they really care about the kids. So a shout out to you guys. Now, trying to keep in this mindset of appreciation, um, you know, being stuck at home, it's, sometimes it's very hard to feel appreciative because you just want to go out and enjoy life and, um, you know, watch sports and do all kinds of fun things. But I want to say that even in this situation, I am appreciative to obviously have time with my family, you know, my pets, etc. But one thing I want to focus on for this particular check-in video is that this weekend is Mother's Day. And if you can show appreciation to pretty much anybody, your mother is always someone that should be at the top of that list. Um, now, Mother's Day is special in our house because my first daughter was born on Mother's Day. So my mother, or I'm sorry, my wife became a mother on Mother's Day, which worked out uh, kind of nicely. Now, there might be a situation where um, if you're the parent, right, not the student, but if you're the parent, you know, maybe your your mom is around, maybe your mom, unfortunately, is not around. Like my mother passed away uh, when I was 35, uh, when my daughter turned one. And her story was kind of interesting in a way, not, well, I wouldn't say interesting, but she were, was born and died on the same day, right, which was her birthday, which just seemed kind of crazy. Um, and she was actually living on the same street that she was born in, like when she was born in the same street, and she was she was born and died in the same hospital. So it's kind of like a weird circle of life. But the one thing I can say about my own mother is I was always appreciative of her because she always put us first. Um, you know, she would work multiple jobs so that way, you know, we would have things. And, you know, anytime you need anything, she was there for you. She was always complimentary, always telling us how much she loved us. And that is what, you know, mothers do. They just always are showing that love and affection, um, you know, and she also taught me how to uh, treat other people, you know, treat them with kindness and always be respectful and understanding of people. And that is kind of like what I remember of my own mother. I mean, my mother was an artist and I always used to love, you know, looking at her paintings. Um, she's also very crafty. I mean, that definitely skipped me, uh, but uh, I was very appreciative of my mother. 
So this weekend is Mother's Day, so I want you guys to do something nice for your mom. Now I know you can't necessarily go out and get things, but I think handmade things have so much more meaning. So if you can make something nice for your mother, give her a nice card, tell your mother that, um, you know, that you love her, you know, give her hugs. But I also want to just make the point that, you know, you can be a, um, like a mother-in-law and still, you know, I could, like I'm obviously have a mother-in-law and I love my mother-in-law. I think she's fantastic. She's always been so good to me and treated me like her own son. Now I've also have had a stepmom in the past who still to this day treats me, you know, uh, like her own kid. So you don't necessarily have to oh, just be a birth mom to have that bond. You know, you might be, um, somebody who is adopted and your parents treat you and your mother treats you just like their own kids. So I don't really think it matters if it was based on birth, if it's like an in-law, if it's a step parent or if it's an adopted parent. Um, you know, I remember I used to have a friend who was adopted and when she asked, um, you know, her mom or whatever, her, her adopted mom or her mom, I guess I would say, um, you know, about having, you know, birth kids, etc. And the one thing she said is like, I chose you, like, you know what I mean? So, and that always made her feel great because she felt that, um, you know, she was picked and it made her always feel good. So if you are somebody who is, um, adopted kids, you know, I'd like to give an appreciation for you as well, uh, because it's not easy at times and, you know, you guys show love and affection and for that uh, I'm sure your kids are super grateful but considering that it's Mother's Day whether you're a grandmother um, you know maybe aunts or uncles and you have kids just take the time to show your appreciation for them because your mother always will put you first most likely because that's what mothers do I know my mother did and I know my wife you know will always put you know my kids first before herself because it's just like that unconditional love that moms have for their kids. So all I can say is this weekend when you're with your mom, um, you know, just take the time and enjoy the day. You know, show your appreciation, make them a card, tell them you love them. Um, now, you can also reach out to other people who maybe are not your family, but you want to say Happy Mother's Day too. I was very fortunate. I felt like I had, when I was growing up, three mothers. So my own mother, right? And then um, my next door neighbor, who was my best friend, is my best friend, but he, um, his mom treated me just like her own son. And I always considered her a mother. And then another really good friend of mine, his mother always treated me the same way. So having that type of relationship with people, it's okay to show your appreciation and say, you know, happy Mother's Day to you guys as well. So let's have this weekend be one of just kindness, compassion, showing our gratitude. And um, now I know this is not your typical check-in video and I'm not necessarily, um, just saying, you know, for my students, but um, Mother's Day is special. And um, although, you know, we want to celebrate our mothers on Mother's Day, you should be celebrating your mother as often as you can because your mother loves you and she's always doing great things for you, I'm sure. Um, so showing your appreciation by saying thank you, you know, if she happens to make dinner or she drives you to practice, uh, all those things that your parents do you know, just be sure to say thank you. Now, I'm gonna end on this. Um, as this week comes to an end, right, I just want you to, although the theme every week is gonna be hopefully something different, but always take the time to show people uh, you appreciate them. Always take the time to tell people how you feel. I know that I repeat this message, but I just can't stress it enough, uh, telling people thank you, telling people you love them, give your family hugs. Um, it's a good time for us to kind of regroup and think about what's important in life. And the thing that is really important in life is family. Now, family doesn't always have to be blood. Family is where groups of people that show that love for one another, you know, you might have family friends who are like, you know, they're like family. Um, I, I just, I, just want to kind of end on that note. Um, 
just tell people you love them. All right. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Until tomorrow's check-in video. Um, peace out.